Once upon a time in a quiet village, there lived a man named Sam. Sam was a simple and kind-hearted person, but he often felt lonely. He had a few friends, but he longed for more meaningful connections. One day, he decided to seek the wisdom of the village's wise old monk, Master Zen. Sam walked up the serene mountain path to the temple where Master Zen resided. He found the monk meditating under a big tree and approached him with a bow. Master Zen, Sam said, I want to learn how to increase my value in the eyes of my friends and make more friends. Master Zen opened his eyes and smiled at Sam. I see your heart is pure, and your intentions are noble, he said. Let me share with you a story. Once, in the same village, there was a poor farmer named Lee. Lee was a man of great integrity and a kind heart. He lived a simple life, tending to his crops and animals. His farm was not the biggest or the most prosperous, but he was content with what he had. One day, a traveler passing through the village stopped at Lee's farm. The traveler had heard about Lee's reputation for being a good and honest man. The traveler asked Lee if he could stay for the night and, in return, offered to pay him with a beautiful, rare gemstone. Lee welcomed the traveler into his humble home and shared his meager dinner. He listened to the traveler's stories and offered him a comfortable place to sleep. The next morning, the traveler gave Lee the gemstone thanking him for his kindness. News of Lee's selfless act quickly spread through the village. People from far and wide came to visit him and hear his stories. They brought gifts and many offered their friendship to Lee. Over time, he gained many friends, not because he sought them out but because he lived a life of kindness and integrity. Master Zen paused and looked at Sam. Sam, he said, you see, the key to increasing your value in the eyes of your friends is not to seek their approval or friendship for selfish reasons. Instead, be like Lee, a person of kindness, integrity, and a good heart. Be content with who you are and what you have. Friends will come to you when they see your sincerity. Sam nodded, realizing the profound wisdom in the story. He thanked Master Zen and returned to the village with a new perspective. He began to focus on being a kind and honest person, always willing to help others without expecting anything in return. As the years passed, Sam's genuine kindness and integrity shone through, and he found himself surrounded by friends who valued him for who he was, not for what he could offer. Sam had learned the valuable lesson that increasing one's value in the eyes of friends doesn't come from seeking to be liked but from being a good-hearted and sincere person. And so, the village of Sam and Lee lived on in peace, its inhabitants cherishing their friendships and the wisdom of Master Zen, who continued to guide those who sought his teachings.